Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Natalie Kaviduk, and I am the Program Manager for Summer Faculty Directed Programs. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Mandy Neidegger. And today we will be discussing global intensive experiences more in depth. Uh, we say that this is short term, fast paced and unforgettable. Today, again, we're going over global intensive experience programs. What are they? What is the structure? The benefits of these types of programs, funding. We're going to provide a few examples for upcoming terms, do a brief website tour, and then answer any questions you may have. And now to global so, intensive experience. <clears throat> Yeah, my name is Mandy Neidegger. I'm the Assistant Director of our Faculty Directed Programs. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, as we go through the presentation, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat box and either Natalie or I will answer them. And then, of course, as Natalie said, we have questions at the end as well. So we wanna talk a little bit about what global intensive experiences are. And basically these are faculty directed programs that take place before or after semesters or during break. So generally they're seven to 12 days, they're intensive as the name indicates. Um, and these programs are connected to a semester course. So you might be in an A, a B or a C session class and then be able to go abroad as part of it. These programs also combine in-class learning with real-world experiences. Because you are on the ground on a global intensive experience program such a short amount of time, we really try to make these experiential. Um, you are going to museums and sites, you're on excursions, you're participating in activities, you're interacting with local people, you're hearing guest lectures. Um, we don't want to have a situation where students are flying across the, the world for a seven day program and then sit in a classroom for that time. We really want to um, encourage students to be out and about. <clears throat> so GIEs or Global Intensive Experiences are a part of our faculty directed programs and with faculty directed programs an ASU faculty member takes a group of ASU students somewhere in the world. They teach ASU classes that come right back to your transcript as ASU credit. So you know from the beginning what classes are going to be offered on these programs, you know who your professor is going to be, and you know that you're going to be in class with other ASU students, which is really nice. On all of these programs, because you're taking these ASU classes, you earn ASU credit. Now the program fee that's associated with a global intensive experience includes housing, and then it includes various other programmatic costs. So this might be a welcome or farewell dinner. This might be airport pickup or drop off. Um, this might be a public transportation pass or additional excursions, activities, entrances to museums or other locations. Um, but these are gonna be program by program um, expenses. It does not include your tuition, and this is really important to note. Your tuition is paid separately to ASU as normal. So because these are connected to a semester class, you are paying your semester tuition as normal, and then you're paying this program fee on top that includes the things that we've already discussed. You can split your program fee into two parts and pay each half um, on the due date and then half a month later, um, which hopefully will alleviate some of the financial burden that you might experience with these programs. And the really good news is, is that because these are connected to a semester program um, or a semester course rather, you can use your entire financial aid and scholarship package to help pay for the program. So we know that some students think that um, that, that, that study abroad is too expensive, that they're not able to afford it, but we want you to know that global intensive experience programs are certainly lower cost and that your financial aid and scholarships do apply. Um, there are several different structures when it comes to global intensive experiences. These are very flexible programs. And as a result, we wanna highlight kind of the differences that you might expect to see depending on the program that you choose. So one option is that a standalone course, a standalone program, and you can either receive one credit or three credits depending on the program that you select. If you're choosing a one credit option or if the program offers one credit, basically you're going abroad during spring break, let's say, 
you are participating in all activities, you're submitting whatever assignments are due on the ground. And once that week is over, you receive one credit and the grade for the course. Other programs that we offer have a three credit option where you would do pre-work or post-work plus all of the activities and experiences on the ground. And as a result, you would earn three credits. So in both of these cases, it's a standalone course. It's not connected to a larger class, but you can either earn one credit or three credit depending on the program. Now, the other structure that we have is an embedded course. And these courses would be connected, these programs would be connected to a semester course. So we have programs that are full C session, 15 week classes, and students go abroad during spring break. So in that case, you might be preparing for the first seven weeks, go abroad, and then come back and reflect on your experience in the last seven weeks. We have programs that are 15 weeks set C session classes and then go abroad in post spring or in May after the program is over or during winter break. So it's kind of the culmination of your 15 weeks of study. We also have programs, we offer a travel writing program that actually starts during spring break. So that's the first time they're together to jumpstart the program. And then they come back and take a B session class where they're reflecting on their experience. And we also have programs where um, a student might go abroad um, at the end of a class, at the end of an, a B session class, and go abroad during winter break or post spring. So we have seven different terms that students can go abroad on GIE programs. You can go before the fall semester, um, during winter break, before the spring semester, during spring break, or after the spring semester, which we call post spring. And then we do have some programs that run um, in the fall or the spring, but those are more semester programs. So there are a lot of benefits of faculty directed programs, and we just want to highlight some of these for you as you're thinking about the potential of participating in a global intensive experience program. First, as we've mentioned, these are shorter term programs, generally between seven and 12 days. Um, this is great for students who maybe you don't want to go abroad for a semester, but want to get a taste for study abroad to see if this is something they want to continue to pursue. It's also a wonderful opportunity for students who are in really lockstep majors where there's not a lot of flexibility and you really can't leave for a semester. It's great for students who might, might be doing internships in the summer and can't go abroad on a summer program. But in this case, these are shorter terms, so you can squeeze them in during an academic break. We also hear of a lot of students who have family obligations or work jobs. And again, whereas you might not be able to take off work for an entire summer, um, perhaps you could get the vacation time needed for a seven day program. So we really like the idea of these programs being shorter in length. Another benefit is that classes are taught by ASU faculty. So again, you already know what credit you're gonna be getting and what classes you'll be taking while you're abroad. You earn credit towards your degree. So again, these classes are going straight to your transcript. Um, you will get a grade, it's not pass fail. So that's important to know, but these can contribute and boost your GPA if you have a successful experience on the ground. They're also structured and pre-planned. So um, with longer programs, there's a lot more responsibility on the student to figure out you know, where you're going to stay, what housing you're gonna have, how you're gonna get around the city, what activities you're gonna do, what places that you're gonna visit. And on GIE programs, this is already taken care of you for you. We know where you're going to stay. We have hotel reservations or apartment reservations, depending on the program. Um, you know what excursions you're gonna do. There's an itinerary every day and the faculty are there with you, guiding you through the program um, so that you get the most out of it. Now that's not to say that there's not opportunities for free time. Certainly we have free time on these programs, but again, they're overall planned for you so that that's not something that you have to, to really think about or work on. These programs are also sponsored by ASU departments. So you know that there is some backing behind the programs that the departments uh, support them and that you should feel encouraged that you are going to get the correct academic credit and um, earn credits towards your graduation. It's also an op awesome opportunity to build relationships with faculty. Um, some of you may be in large super sections where you have 200 or 300 students in a class. 
Generally, our GIE programs are between 10 and 20 students. So this is a wonderful opportunity to get to know your faculty really well, to build a relationship with them. And then when the time comes, if you need a letter of recommendation or if you need career guidance or if you just need someone to talk to, you have a really strong um, uh, ally and um, relationship there to, to work with in and, 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 an otherwise very large university at times. <clears throat> You also get hands-on learning and experience. We have wonderful programs and we're gonna talk about some of them, um, but the opportunity to do business visits, um, the opportunity to engage with other students, the opportunity to participate in service learning, um, lots and lots of hands-on experiences. Also low cost options. We really focus on trying to keep our programs costs as low as possible. And GIEs are certainly our lowest cost program. So you know that when you're going on a GIE, you are um, paying a much lower cost than on a summer or a semester program. These are also great for ASU online students. So if you're here today joining us from the online community, we want you to know that these are a great opportunity for you and that a lot of your classmates who are online students have already participated in GIE programs. In fact, we see the highest amount of participation um, from ASU online students in GIE programs. So um, I know that I've talked to a lot of ASU online students who have felt like maybe they're only gonna be the only one on their program and it ends up being that there are always um, several online students that are participating, which is awesome. And there's also a rich diversity of participants. We find that um, we see the most diversity in our GIE programs too. So we see a lot of ethnic diversity in our programs, a lot of different representation from students, again, online students. We also see a lot of first generation students on these programs and students who are not traditional age college students. So students who are, you know, in their um, above 26 is what we consider non-traditional who are participating in these programs and getting the opportunity to go abroad and have classmates and a roommate for the first time, which is really incredible. So now we'd like to talk a bit about GI Bill benefit recipients. So if you are a GI Bill benefit recipient, we definitely recommend chatting with the ASU Pat Tillman Veterans Center. They are the experts and they will be able to advise particularly for your benefits. Um, with that said, we have been told that you can use your benefits just as long as they're applicable to your degree program. So that means they have to be upper division credit, for example, or program specific courses. It is really important to note that the VA will only pay towards the maximum in-state cost of attendance. Um, so do take note of that. And if interested and this applies to you, please take down Jennifer Adams' name. She's a certificate, certification specialist, and she can help you determine if you're eligible for study abroad funding. We'd also like to highlight the Starbucks College Achievement Plan. We have many students who are part of this plan that participate in Global Intensive Experience programs. Um, and that is because Global Intensive Experiences may qualify for tuition reimbursement. So please note that this plan covers tuition only and partners would still need to pay the program fees separately. It's also really important to note that our summer faculty directed programs are not covered by this plan. If you're interested and you're eligible, it's really important to talk to your manager at work because approval for time off is typically in the form of vacation time or personal leave of absence, for example. Again, if this is something you're interested in and you wanna check your eligibility, please contact Fast Corporate Enrollment Partnership Services and you can see the phone number and the email address on this slide. We also really wanna talk about funding. Preparing funding is so incredibly important. So first of all, we would like to highlight two scholarships, the SAO Travel Grant and the SAO Diversity Scholarship. So the Travel Grant you see, there's two different awards, one for 1,000, one for 500, and that's based on the deadline. So for example, 1,000 is for the priority deadline, 500 is for the final. The Travel Grant is based on financial need and academic merit. Another scholarship we like to highlight is the Diversity Scholarship. As Mandy mentioned before, we define diversity very broadly. So for example, it can be non-traditional students, it could be online students, it could be athletes, males, for example. So I definitely recommend looking at our website to see the qualifications for this scholarship. And again, this is a huge scholarship, it's $2,000. So definitely look at this. We also recommend going on our website, we have a scholarship database where you can see other scholarships that apply to you. 
In addition to the scholarships, we also want to highlight financial aid. As Mandy mentioned, financial aid can be applied to global intensive experience programs. So in doing so, you'll see a program fee on your ASU account and you would pay for it and use your financial aid just like you would pay for any other charge. Um, so something to keep in mind. Now, another thing we'd like to highlight is community-based funding. Again, we have a whole section on our website, so I definitely recommend checking it out. But community-based funding is basically using your network to fundraise. So for example, setting up a GoFundMe page to go on one of these programs, for example, to Chile, like in the picture, or let's say you're a wonderful baker having a bake sale, or you're a great photographer taking photos for the local newspaper. It's really leveraging your strengths and working with those around you in your network to fundraise. So now we'd like to give a few examples of global intensive experience programs. The first being business in Costa Rica. So this is a post spring program. So again, after the spring term, after graduation, this one is May 11th to May 18th. WP Carey School of Business is a sponsor. And for this particular program, it's one credit. So what's great about this program is you get to do tons of academic and company visits. So for example, a lot of coffee visits, the big one being Starbucks. But again, you also get to do some non-coffee related business visits as well to get a complete picture of Costa Rican business. In addition to these business visits, you're touring cities, you're visiting theaters, museums, taking cooking, dance classes. So it's a very well-rounded program. We also have Mediterranean Food and Culture. This is another post-spring program with the dates being May 13th to the 20th. The sponsor is the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences within Silk. This is either one or three credits. Again, this is based on what course you choose and you can see it on the web brochure. And this is a wonderful program because you get to experience local food systems, see farms, get to talk to food producers, visit local markets. Um, something that a lot of students are excited about is the cooking class and the meals with local families. So this is also a wonderful opportunity to get the hands-on experience in Syracuse, Italy. Another program we have is Jane Austen, Life and Works in England. This is another post-spring program you could see with similar dates, May 12th to the 21st. The college sponsor is the College of Integrated Science and Arts. And again, it's a program where you get to choose the credits. It's either one or three, depending on the course you choose. You get to follow in the footsteps of Jane Austen. You get to go to such amazing towns such as Bath, Lyme Regis, Winchester, and follow in her footsteps and see some amazing monuments like Stonehenge and Salisbury. Some other programs that we offer, um, one is Never Forget, Exploring Holocaust Memories and Memorials. Um, this is a post-spring program that's sponsored by the School of Social Transformation. It's one credit in length and students travel to Berlin, Germany and Krakow, Poland. And what they're doing on this program is really focusing on the memory of the Holocaust as it relates to the past and present. So they're visiting many different um, Holocaust sites, uh, including um, the Krakow ghetto and Auschwitz, um, and they're learning about and processing what the um, Holocaust really was and how it happened, um, the goal being never to forget so that we don't re repeat such atrocities. Um, and this program, we do want to highlight that we do have global intensive experience programs that take place here in the United States as well, not just abroad. And so if this is something that's interesting to you, know that we have programs um, in Washington, D.C., in Baltimore, and Hawaii. Um, we also have programs in Montana and Los Angeles. Um, so we're growing our number of programs that are domestic in nature as well. This one is sponsored by Watts College of Public Service and Community Solutions, and it is one credit. It takes place in DC, and students are able to explore gender and the impact that gender has on the criminal justice system. So they participate in an expo at the McCain Center in Washington, DC. They learn about the federal police officer recruiting, and they actually get to engage with many of these different agencies, um, including participating in trainings and writing write-alongs with federal police officers. So this is a week program that takes place in May, um, but is a really, really great opportunity to engage in some of the policy and also gender exploration 
or if you're into um, thinking about law enforcement as a career in the future, this would be another really great program. And finally, we have a program called Mirror World London Graphic Design and Advertising Immersion, which is sponsored by the Ira A. Fulton Schools of Engineering. So what we have here, um, I just want to point out, we've, we've offered six different programs from six different um, school sponsors. We want you to see that we have a really wide variety of programs and also that they are all over the place um, and focusing on totally different topics. So we want you to be aware that there's a lot out here. These are certainly not the only global intensive experience programs, but we just wanted to give you a taste of what you might be able to experience. So in this program, um, students will be able to expand their knowledge of design and advertising history. They also get to do firsthand research and then build networks by connecting with design and advertising practitioners in London. Um, so this is a really hands-on program with a, a project that you provide um, a, a presentation of at the end, but really looking at design and how advertising works, um, both in the United States and comparatively in London. All right, we wanted to give you a bit of a website tour so that you could kind of see um, where these things take place on our website. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of our presentation and I'm going to take us over here to the ASU website. So on this page, there is a blue button, search and apply for a program. And if you click on that button, it's going to take you to our search. So if you know the program that you are really interested in, if you saw business in Costa Rica and thought, yes, that's the program for me, you can type in the name here. You can search by country or by term, but you can also search by program type. So since we're interested in global intensive experience programs, and that's what we're talking about today, I've just selected global intensive experiences, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and click search. This is gonna show you all of the global intensive experience programs that our office is running. Now I do wanna highlight that a number of these um, will not be running for this year um, because of COVID-19 happening, um, but these will hopefully be programs that we run in the future. And right now the programs that are available are gonna be for post spring and beyond. Um, unfortunately, we are postponing um, our spring break term. So we will not have programs running during spring break, but from May and onward, um, we hope to be offering programs. So once you decide on the program that you're interested in, if you click on the link, <clears throat> this is gonna take you to the web brochure page. And what you'll see is that there are gonna be quick facts, basically the dates of the program and the highlights of the program that you can check out. And then there will be a, a paragraph that kind of describes the, the program to you. On the left-hand side, you'll see a program snap sheet it will show you who the college sponsor is, and it will also show you the GPA requirement and um, the language of instruction and who your international coordinator is. You can see what the eligibility requirements are, and then it will also highlight what the application requirements are. So you know before you even start the program what you need to complete in order to be considered a participant. Um, there's a lot of other information on the program web brochure as well. You get information on the locations that you're visiting and also on the housing that you'll be uh, or living in rather. There's information on the courses that are being taught. And then also for global intensive experiences, there will be a description of the course format, which is wonderful. You'll also get to meet the faculty directors of the program. And I really encourage you, when you see their email addresses and their phone numbers, don't be afraid to reach out to them. Um, we put their email addresses up there so that you can ask them questions and, and we want that to happen. Um, we recognize that all students are different and we want to highlight some special considerations so that if you identify, um, if you have a, a disability or that you identify with the LGBTQIA community, um, if you have questions about gender or race and ethnic minorities, we want to answer those questions on this page and there will be um, location specific information. So you can see right here, um, if there is location inf specific information, we add it. You'll also be able to see the program costs. So right now this program isn't open for applications, so we don't yet have the 
price. Um, but what you'll see is that it will give you the price once that program is open. And it will also give you a cost sheet that helps you to know how much you might expect to spend overall. So ASU, the study abroad office, will charge you the application fee and the program fee once that's determined. And then we also estimate the other costs that you might expect to spend on the program. So we want you to know the full extent of your costs. And then there's information on financing your study abroad. So Natalie mentioned the scholarships. You can click right here from the um, scholarships and grants page, and that will take you to the study abroad scholarships and grants. Um, Natalie mentioned the scholarship search, which you can view by clicking this maroon button. And if you continue to scroll, you'll see the travel grant and the diversity scholarship that Natalie highlighted. She also mentioned the um, community-based funding. And if you click on additional funding options, you can actually find the community-based funding guide that you can check out here. So there's really good information straight from your web brochure to the other parts of our website. Last thing that I want to mention is that um, we are opening programs later this year due to COVID-19. And so in order for you to register your interest and to tell us um, that you are wanting to know more information about the program, that you want us to email you when the program is ready to be accepting applications, do click on the Be the First to Know link that is in every single one of our web brochure pages. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to an interest form. Type in your email address and then we will contact you and let you know um, updates on the program. And we'll also let you know when the program begins to accept applications. And that way you won't have to stock the website, um, but we'll do that work for you by letting you know once we're open. Um, for those of you who may not um, know what program that you want and are interested in exploring options, um, hover over the ASU students on our homepage and then you can see who can study abroad. We have really good information for different demographics of our students. Um, we also have a supporting diversity section. So um, students with dis disabilities, racial and ethnic minorities, non-traditional students, LGBTQIA, first gen. So all of that is there as well. And then also one of the things that I think is really helpful is um, like who can study abroad and then getting started. I think that this getting started page is really helpful and kind of thinking through what the next steps of the process are. Um, so we have study abroad 101 workshops. We have financing your study abroad workshops. You can search programs. You can talk to an international coordinator um, and you can start the application process right there. So that is kind of the tour of the website. Um, Natalie and I are happy to answer any questions that you may have now. Um, so feel free to uh, either type them in the chat box or if you would rather just unmute your microphone and um, ask a question that way, you are welcome to do so at this time. Well, Natalie and I will stick around for a few minutes if anyone has a question that they wanna pop in the chat box or um, just unmute and ask. Um, but we wanna thank you for joining us. We're really grateful that you're here and interested in Global Intensive Experience programs. And if there's anything that we can do, feel free to reach out. Um, Natalie and I are the only Mandy and Natalie in the study abroad office, so you can find us easily, but we would love to um, take your questions over the course of the next few weeks um, and get you in touch with the right person. So thank you so much for joining. Again, Natalie and I will stick around, but we hope you have a great day and we hope to see you on a program in the very near future.